let's say you went around on this patient on his third day of hospitalization and you asked the nurse if there's any overnight events. The nurse tells you or told you that he's diuresing like a champ, but he had a 10 beat of non-sustained VTAC. The patient was asymptomatic and the nurse went to check on him and he was actually watching TV and, and he was surprised of, happens all the time, you know, nurses see something on telemetry and they run into the room to check on the patient and the patient's like, what's going on? I'm okay. So they're watching TV, they're eating, they're doing something, everything is fine and dandy and, and they just see, he sees the nurse, nurses actually just coming in, you know, rushing into his room. So this patient has an ejection fraction of 20% and he had now a 10 beat of non-sustained VTAC. So in patients like this, think about it. They have an increased chance of developing VTEC and VFib. So in cases like this, you can actually think about calling cardiology, getting them on board, because again, these patients will have an increased chance of developing this and maybe dying. So in these patients, you want to consider putting an ICD, but in the meantime, you want to maybe put them on something like amuterone, which is um, uh, an, anti, an anti-arrhythmic. In general, though, a few bats of non-sustained VDAC overnight is not worrisome in the general population. Okay, and it's usually actually not even, forget heart failure here for a second. In any patient who comes into the hospital, let's say they're coming in for cellulitis, pneumonia, whatever. A lot of times we catch a non-sustained VTAC. Non-sustained VTAC is a VTAC that stays less than 30 seconds. Sustained VTAC is more than 30 seconds or less than 30 seconds, but symptomatic. In these cases, you just want to check their electrolytes, make sure their magnesium is okay, their potassium is okay. And if that's okay, then nothing to worry about. Again, this is a chronic thing and not, needs nothing to do. But in patients who have depressed heart failure, having VTAC, which is when it is sustained, again, more than 30 seconds or symptomatic overnight or had any kind of hemodynamic collapse, this is worrisome. This is when you have to maybe call cardiology and see if they need to be on an antiarrhythmic like amuterone. So until the patient can be considered for an ICD or defibrillator, then you might want to consult cardiology again to maybe start them on that medication to help them you know, from going to VTEC and FIFIB, keeping them on normal sinus rhythm until you put on ICD.